name is Milbury and uh, I work at Quantu as a JS specialist. I'm so excited to be a part of community because you know it's my it's my very first time I'm at Phosphor so I'm happy to be here. And today I want to talk to you about the state of open aerial map and how it's links with disaster response. So let's start. Um, it's not a secret that the imagery is um, uh, is vital during critical moments like uh, disasters. Um, imagery from satellites, from UAPs or other aircrafts um, is becoming increasingly, uh, increasingly available after a disaster and it's often it's difficult to uh, define, to recognize what is available and is accessed. So, uh, to solve this problem, uh, Open Aerial Map was invested, and um, it's what is Open uh, Aerial Map is it's a simple open ho uh, host to provide access to imagery for humanitarian response and disaster preparedness. So, but first, I want to introduce you uh, to organization called uh, Humanitarian Open Street Map Team. Uh, so it's an NGO, also it's a global community of people who can uh, make some efforts to fulfill the map and contribute, I, I mean map, I mean open strip map, uh, of course, to support humanitarian aid and disaster preparedness. Uh, their work is very crucial for creating maps of regions where other data may be unavailable uh, or outdated supporting uh, efforts in disaster relief. So Hot Awesome uh, collaborates with various organizations, including NGOs, governments, uh, companies, local communities, to improve mapping data and enhance the humanitarian aid. Including the company I work for, Contour, is a global company, is a geospatial data and real-time risk manager provider for many organizations. Mainly we work in um, uh, work into the disaster management. So for HOT, we developed su such type of um, applications like Disaster Ninja. It's an open and open source uh, platform, I would say, that provides you with some uh, metrics of the quality of the map and uh, with another bunch of features like disasters, like uh, counterpopulation, and you can also select your um, area of interest and get some analytics here. So, But now we are talking about the open aerial map and its project that was founded in 2007. Um, to be honest, uh, in general, the disaster management is the um, most applied thing that uh, could be invented with the development of this project. That's why um, in 2015, the project came under the umbrella of HOT. And uh, HOT relaunched the platform in 2015, and then through the, uh, since um, 2022, Contour joined the effort. Uh, initially, we conducted some uh, redesign research of the platform, uh, improved user experience, and, and then we worked on creating a global mosaic layer for the, project, uh, for the uh, platform. Our effective uh, collaboration with HOT uh, laid f um, the foundation for establishing a memorandum of understanding between us, uh, which was established to help each other on developing tools to enable the usage of open map imagery and data to improve livelihoods and support disaster recovery. Yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and. Um, you can easily start uh, just open uh, map dot open aerial map uh, dot org on your browser, and then you can reach the platform. Um, what we can see here, it's a platform that uh, provides you some information about what open aerial map is on the left side, and also you can see some last update uploads here. 
but uh, most of the platform is placed by a map, a clustered map um, with a number of uploads here. And you just, if just you uh, scroll down, uh, the map can be can be complemented by imageries. And yeah, uh, of course, uh, you can use navigation or just search panel to search some uh, point uh, area of interest in f of interest it, for example your homeland <laughs> and check if there are any available open imagery um, available here so um, yeah and um, that's why I can I should mention Maxar because um, they has a open uh, data program and makes its imagery available during critical moments. It's very useful because um, it significantly aids in humanitarian response during the critical events like disasters, of course. It worth to uh, also noting that Maxar provides both uh, pre- and post-event data, uh, which is crucial for assessing losses. And despite some uh, difficulties in uploading imageries automatically on the OpenRail map, uh, because uh, platform now does not support the stack catalog, thanks to the many volunteers from HOT and people like Batu, thank you Batu, um, imageries can be found on the platform. Um, for example, Batu wrote a code for automatically uh, downloading all the imageries from the Maxar uh, hosted uh, hosts and uh, then assembling them into one single image or mosaic to upload much faster on the platform. So, and the great news here is that you can also make your contribution to the platform just uploading any image here. So, uh, the upload form is a way for users to contribute to OAM imagery database. And here you can put some metadata. Um, for example, uh, title, uh, platform, uh, sensor, uh, date start, date end, uh, location of the imagery from local file, from the link, from the any uh, cloud, and uh, uh, also some another specific uh, metadata is available here. Um, and also, it's very cool that the platform um, uh, by, by uploading your imagery here, you clearly state the um, license of the imagery uh, to, sh uh, to use it user or to share it. And um, now the three subtypes of CC by email licenses uh, is available here. Uh, available here is uh, CC by, CC by share alike, and CC by uh, non-commercial. So. Um, from the technical uh, standpoint, I would say that uh, uh, the magic that happens under the table, uh, raw image um, just uploaded to a cloud server the, uh, where they uh, lie on under the compression and then transformed uh, to the cox. And they can uh, and uh, remain in this format on the cloud. They can mean, uh, they can simultaneously be accessed as a TMS, as a, a layer on the OAM platform, and also as a part of global mosaic map. So the project itself uh, is uh, fits with. Uh, workflow, emergency mapping workflow of HOT called Tasking Manager. And you can find some uh, advice imagery that can be used on the project, uh, on the, the project uh, on Tasking Manager here. Uh, yeah. Another, uh, another achievement that uh, was made by Contour is uh, editing the edition of the mosaic into the OSM editor layer index. Uh, its index uh, is a list of open layers that can be used in any OSM editors like ID or JOSM. So um, you can uh, find uh, the open aerial map here as well. 
And another use case of imagery use usage is uh, you can use any image uh, in your own analysis. You, you can just uh, copy the link of TMS and um, easily edit in it into your project in QGIS, uh, QJS and uh, yeah, and uh, conduct some kind of analysis like functional zoning of your hometown or another kind of analysis. Uh, it's very useful because uh, imagery is under um, the very clear uh, license. Yeah. Together with HOT, uh, besides uploading, you can use a browser for the filtering imageries. And yeah, um, together with HOT, we established uh, the regular meetings around the open aerial map. Um, um, yeah, so we are starting like uh, raise the community around the project. Uh, who we are? We are uh, people who like uh, likes to do imageries and help uh, into uh, disaster response as well. So if you uh, if you want, uh, I can easily edit add you on the call. Uh, just uh, feel free to reach out to me and. Yeah, it's available. Also, on the bottom of the slide, I put two QR codes to community chats on uh, Telegram, and uh, the another one is uh, leads to the Slack channel um, here on the Hot Awesome, uh, uh, Hot awesome uh, Slack space. So, of course, around the project, we have some uh, future plans. Um, and we uh, have some uh, pain points around the, for example, automatically uploading. Um, project uh, does not support stack f for now. And yeah, also we want to enhance uh, image search and enhance uh, UX and um, redevelop the uh, technical stack and bring it to to a new level. Also, we have some plans to develop uh, Open Rail Map version 3 uh, that supports even the 3D models and point clouds based model. Um, yeah. But to be honest, uh, development requires funding. And uh, currently, you can support the project financially uh, by donation, by the tiny donation to HOT. But uh, please uh, leave your comment in the comment field here, like I did. I want to contribute to the open real map. So also, as another way, how you can help us, if you find any, if you found any interesting tender or uh, grant or wealthy man, <laughs> you can contact us and just uh, take it from there. So. Um, um, I think that's, and yeah, bonus slide, it's a layer, not layer, it's a map uh, made uh, um, by using the, um, our new application called Atlas, uh, and represents you count of um, imageries of OAM uh, per hexagon here. Yeah, it's very um, cool if you can uh, recognize your uh, homeland country here. For example, you can see that uh, around the Japan we have a lot of hexagons uh, covered by imagery, but it's a satellite imagery, of course. And yeah, also we made uh, another layer with a number of pixels per hexagon, but it's not available now. Uh, to edit on the slides, but the way uh, we have such kind of uh, beautiful visualizations. Yeah, and this, that's all from my side. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. And uh, I also leave there some links and contacts uh, for the project. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Milvery. So, anybody has any questions? I will start then. <laughs> uh, 
I have one serious and one not question. Okay. Which one do you want first? Let's start from serious. Okay, so there's a... Uh, um, let me just go away from this. Uh, there's um, this selector for imagery license. That's CC BY, CC BY NC, and CC BY SA. And it's known that non-commercial licenses are very vague. So what if I use this imagery to map something and then an agency will sell the data that I map? I, I know this might be not your <laughs> uh, part, but uh, what is maybe the reason for including that? Hmm. Can we use the imagery? Thank you, it's a great question. I guess uh, if you use any image, you you should put the source uh, and just uh, and just recognize that it's not available to purchase some information uh, mapped f thanks to the, this image. So maybe you should uh, use another. Yeah, but source. it's it's open street map. You can't like choose which data to use and which not from open street map. <laughs> um, the typical use cases of usage of uh, open aerial map is uh, um, mapping on OSM mainly. Uh, mainly, uh, it's a very, I will say, the range of use cases very. Uh, it's not very big. Uh, you can use image for your research using QGIS. Also, you know, uh, when we uh, uh, participated in a redesign project for the open aerial map, we uh, defined three user persona, user persona for the for this project, and it was it um, there is uh, there are there is no uh, a person for who want to sell any data because usually. Uh, the project uh, is aimed to be is aimed to be like a, um, right hand, right right arm for for the OSM, not for the any. But uh, you know, um, it's a, yeah, it's a tricky question because uh, um, there is no um, enough clarification uh, of the. If you uh, made some information based on the imagery, it's already uh, can be counted like a um, transformation of the in information, initial information or not. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. It's a very complex question, yeah. yeah. And I, I think uh, CC by NC is not classified as an open license, actually, by so maybe you might want to highlight those imagery just in case. It's a good yeah. note, yeah. So for any other questions? So just I don't hog the channel. Uh, Non-serious question. Can you share any like weird things that have been uploaded to open aerial map? It's a good question. If uh, your word sync has uh, um, projection, <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, it's not necessary to upload any uh, imagery in optical uh, optical channels. It's not to be an RGBI. It can be also some uh, NDVI layers, etc. Et et but you know, uh, there is uh, no um, no cases of vandalism. Uh, was reported on the project, so um, I would say that now um, you can try, but but uh, you know uh, we have some. The HOT is monitoring for the project and uh, uh, can no, uh, notify uh, you if you made something wrong or not not very useful. I would say so. Yeah, thank you. I, I was just thinking maybe I could upload a picture of my cat to open the aerial map or something. <laughs> if your cat have a projection, please. <laughs> it uh, would be very funny. Yeah, she does. <laughs> it's phosphor G, come on. <laughs>
Yeah. So, uh, any other? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll start with you. <laughs> okay. Thanks. It's a similar question, actually. There are some procedures uh, how to validate. Uh, of the imager is that can uh, break some security. For example, um, if someone uploads the imagery of critical infrastructure or some military equipment, uh, so someone looking out at this uh, point, or it's, it's anybody can upload whatever they want, and uh, um, that's it. You know, I many years I I was living in Belarus and. In Belarus, you have restrictions of using any aircraft uh, um, in some s military areas or <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and now, and now, it's forbidden e everywhere. But yeah, um, usually, if you know uh, aircrafts, it's um, usually it uh, regulated uh, by state. Um, yeah. But uh, it's aimed. Uh, the project uh, is aimed to be accessible uh, by uh, aircraft lovers, uh, not lover, um, uh, people who um, like to do something around them. Not it's. Um, it depends. You know, if uh, the if the state requires. Uh, have a free requirements uh, to um, to use it. Uh, it's okay. I I don't know if I I would say also that uh, there is n uh, uh, was not any uh, evidences about uh, this kind of scenarios. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just to add comment also the question the open map community about the uh, license uh, when I check open map gui guideline uh, it is actually they don't want to have any data non-commercially and because you cannot track and they can promise about it but at the same time there is no clear uh, explanation about you can't use CC and B and C image uh, it is also now very clear whether we can use this or not to edit OpenStreetMap, and at the same time, it is being used. Uh, Max are always release data with CC NC, uh, and uh, it is being used for a while. So it is ambiguous. It would be nice to clarify this issue, uh, and for other security-related things, I think I don't. I'm also not expert, but in open aerial map right now, you need to sign in with Google. Uh, if if Google can promise uh, that you are not a dangerous person, <laughs> the open air map also can promise that. So um, you you have more how do you say uh, that kind of check uh, whether it, it can be violated or not. So it is not really less secure than any other pro uh, platform uh, in my opinion. Okay. Thanks for this comment.